And now, let me introduce Governor Rick Snyder. Governor Snyder, thank you so much for seeing the potential in our neighborhood and helping make safer routes to school for me and my fellow students through this initiative. Thank you. Well, it's a great day to be in Detroit, isn't it? Yeah. Far too often, when you look in the morning papers, you'll see people talking about the challenges of Detroit. We don't spend enough time talking about the positives of Detroit. Amen. And that's why I'm excited to be here today. But the reinvention of Detroit cannot be complete without including the neighborhoods. We need the citizens of Detroit and the young people of Detroit, the students of Detroit, having better opportunities, having better services. And that's the exciting opportunity here today because this is another major step forward on that path. I know you have a committed mayor. Mr. Roberts is truly committed to bringing back the school system. We have the Wayne County Treasurer stepping up to be a great partner in this progress. We have the private sector coming together and we need to thank Lear, GM, and all the participants in that process. We have the neighborhoods, the Morningside community being part of this process. This is the message we need to send to people. This is not about people being divisive, not about people fighting and arguing. This is about people coming together to work together to make real action happen that makes life better for the citizens of Detroit. And in many respects, the main topic people are focusing on are taking down homes, demolitions, bringing back homes. And that's critically important. And I want to thank the other partners that are helping with that. We have Handyman Ministries here today. We have Habitat for Humanity working hard here today. And thank you, Bishop Van, for your leadership here in Detroit of that organization. But if you look at bringing back a neighborhood, it starts with either the faith-based community or the schools, or hopefully both in partnership, working together. And it deals with making these homes improved, constructive, creating a path for people to move into, to build a future. But it's more than just real estate. And I'm proud to say we're going to work hard on the people aspects of all this. So I'm proud to talk about a new program that we're launching at the state to help. Pathways to Potential is a new program we're launching through the Department of Human Services. And I'm very proud to say it's about taking our services and instead of putting it in some office building where someone may have to take one bus, two bus, go wait in line in some government office, to talk to somebody about getting help, we are gonna establish family resource centers and a number of schools in Detroit, right in the neighborhood, to give you the services you deserve. We are a customer service business and you are the customer. Just as you heard the mayor talk about the city's commitment, we want to partner with the city and follow their leadership in reestablishing Detroit as a critical place. And by having resources right in the school where people can come get help, that's the start of that process. Instead of making the customer come to us, we're going to go to the customer. So as the homes come down, there's better services, we will continue this partnership to truly reinvent Detroit.